To further develop the requirements determined in the planning and initiation stages, our group created a use case diagram which forms the foundation of our system. A data flow diagram was then created to help us further visualize and plan the flow of information through our proposed system. This diagram details the inputs and outputs of the system and how information will be stored. An entity relationship diagram was then created to give us a top-down view of all entities, attributes, and relationships required in the proposed system. Our group then created an acquisition strategy that detailed the specific benefits and hurdles to implementing the student feedback system. Finally, an architecture design diagram was created to help further elaborate our perspective of the system. This helps elaborate how the components of the system will work together. The last step of the design phase was to create a user interface design prototype. Let's take a look at this prototype now. The student would first be required to log into the My Memphis web-based system. The student feedback tools would sit alongside the other tools provided by the My Memphis system. Take a look at the student feedback tools. Students can create a new feedback ticket, check the status of an existing feedback ticket, update a feedback ticket, or close a feedback ticket. Let's click on New Feedback Ticket. The following page would load allowing us to select the area we would like to leave feedback. Let's click the drop down box and see the areas that we can leave feedback. Let's click Parking Services. We will click Submit once our feedback type is chosen. This is the Parking Services feedback form. Many different types of forms could exist which include questions relevant to the feedback area chosen by the student. The student would then complete this form by selecting choices from the drop-down menus, typing additional information into the text form, and then clicking the Submit button. We could then display the success of the student submission and provide a way for the student to return back to the My Memphis homepage. 